Welcome to Toffee TV. It is the starting 11 show. Everton versus Tottenham Hotspur. Goodison Park, 2 o'clock. Let's get into it. In goal, Jordan Pickford. Uh, made a couple of great saves last week um, at Wolves. Nothing really could do about the goals they got. Um, and for a period, kept it respectable. Lots of talk about his England place at the moment with uh, Ramsdale making uh, one save. So, well, well done. Well done, Ramsdale, for making one save. Um, but hopefully, Jordan Pickford once again in this game shows everybody that uh, he's England's best goalkeeper and continues with that fine form that he showed in 2021. Um, at right back, Seamus Coleman. I don't think he particularly covered himself in glory uh, at Wolves. Um, I thought he was a bit better in the game against Watford, but yeah. Seems to be a little bit of friction at the moment between him and some supporters over his reactions to to fan reactions simply after a, after a couple of really bad defeats. Um, he has been called up for the Ireland squad, so um, this might be the last game we see him for a while, knowing his his uh, luck playing for Ireland um, and injuries. So. Yeah, so he's he's going to start at right back. Let's hope he has a good game on the other side. Luca Dean will be back. He's back fit, and again, the other night, you know, it just didn't work when we um, put uh, Ben Godfrey there. Just down to Ben Godfrey, just not being in any particular kind of form. Um, confidence is really, really suffering. So hopefully, Luca Dean, after a week out, can come back. And um, as I said, I. He's not played well at all this season and hasn't really for a while. So I'm just hoping the real Luca Dean comes back at some point because we we could really, really do with him. Um, Centre-back, Michael Keane and Ben Godfrey. There's no Yeri Mina. I uh, wouldn't touch Mason Polgate with a the, with the barge pole at centre-back. Keane, again, I think has been the better of the two. Godfrey's been god-awful. But... When you look at what we've got, that's the problem. You know, Mason Olgay came in and I just thought he was awful. But again, maybe I'm being harsh because he was back for one game, so maybe I'm being harsh there, but I did think he was poor. Um, ben Godfrey has got the power, he's got the pace. He, I don't think, as I said, I've said lots of times, I don't think he's a particularly natural defender. It's something he's going to have to learn as he goes along, but he has got that power and pace, and I think that's why, you know, he's been... That's why he's looked upon as a as a long term centre back. We'll have to wait and see. But until Yeri Mean is back, until we've got an organiser at the back, it is what it is, and these players are just gonna have to get through it. Of course, Zona Marken has been just an it's just been a, a mess. But I you know, whether you like that system or not, that's up to players to be aggressive and go and try and attack the ball. And I just don't see that from any of them. They need to all look at themselves really and and decide, you know, whether they're going to start putting a shift in for the team. So, but that's that is what it is at the moment. Uh, into centre midfield, Allen. Again, don't think he was particularly good against Wolves certainly in that first half. But you know, I don't think he particularly helped. Um, Jean Philippe Gabama out, even though Gabama because Gabama was going missing, but then Allen was going playing his game like he had the Corey next to him and he wasn't so he did settle down in the second half and I hope it's similar in this game um, I'm bringing Tom Davis back because I just think I was very surprised he was left out for the Wolves game to be honest um, so I'm going to bring him back and, and in there with them is Delph who was really good in the second half um, again that three is not going to do anything attacking wise but what it's going to do is hopefully is it's going to stop Spurs attacks it's going to win the ball and then give it to the players in front of them and I think certainly for the first hour it's about being solid it's about getting confidence it's about not letting teams run through you know on Wednesday night that's what we did and you know I felt sorry for Gabamon the other night um, because he was his first game back playing in a two I just thought it was really poor from Rafa Benitez to do that Delph came on second half and got hold of it. Um, and I think he could do something similar. Listen, I just, we need something, something at the weekend. We need something to stop the rot. 
and that starts with being solid. That starts with not conceding goals. And I think three in the midfield, you know, they've got to do the jobs. And listen, there's a lack of height in there. That's I that, know that is a worry. Certainly not it's not gonna help us on set pieces, but there's other players who've got the height. So that's the three I'm gonna go for. Um and we'll see what happens. On the right hand side, on just Townsend, um again, don't think he played particularly well the other night. But uh, he's, he's in there. On the other side, Gray, who probably had his worst Everton game on on, Wednesday, on Monday night as well. Um, but again, he can hurt. He can hurt the opposition. And, you know, Anthony Gordon, for me, would be the first sub. He's someone who'd be the first one to come on. And that's how we change it. I don't think he's quite... I don't think he's quite ready for a start if you're going to play three attackers. I don't think he's quite there yet. Maybe we were playing four. And we asked... You know, and he played maybe centrally or Gray played centrally, but I think Gray's better on the left hand side. Maybe then he'd be ready. But for this game I just think we need to be more solid. So Gordon would be the the um the first sub for me. Um because I just think we have to be solid in this game. And up front with Charles and he was he, he you know, he was not really involved the other night, still coming back from fitness. But, you know, minutes under the belt Minutes in training, hopefully he'll be back. He's not going away with Brazil, so that's important. And hopefully he has a good game and scores against Spurs. So um, that's my team. Let me know what you think. The fireworks are going off outside. It's all mad. Um, let me know your thoughts in the, in the comments. Who would you have? Who would you bring in? Who would you leave out? Don't forget to give this video a like. Make sure to check out our match preview, our opposition match preview, which is over on Patreon. Uh, yeah, check Patreon out as well. Link is in the description. Give this video a like. And if you haven't subscribed to Toffee TV, please do. See you later.